are the very model of the modern major general. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. No. None of this. Absolutely, 1,000%, no more singing musical cringe Star Trek, and I mean it. Don't give me the Star Trek crap, it's too early in the morning. But no, but no, Alex, I is a writer, Kurtzman has decided. <laughs> to Alex Kurtzman on why the world needs more Star Trek and possibly a musical episode. No, the answer is not to give us more Star Trek musical episodes. The answer is... No! We have way too much Star Trek. We have way too much Star Trek as it is. 525,600 spin-offs. Alex Kurtzman, we have too damn many Star Treks already that are terrible. We do not need more! Especially not musical ones. They're terrible, they're cringe. Pretty much anything you do in Star Trek is either filled with profanity, violence, gore, sex, whatever you're throwing at the screen, or you're making it the most cringe, ridiculous, Spock singing and dancing and laughing like a moron Star Trek we've ever seen. Stop! You're gonna stop and you're gonna go away and go away from Star Trek until you guys can figure out how to make it better without Alex Kurtzman, without Alex Kurtzman, without Bow Robot, without Secret Hideout, without any of these hack copy and paste writers who wouldn't know how to write themselves out of a paper bag, let alone into it or into it, let alone out of it. I don't even know anymore. That's how upset they get me with this, is that I confuse my metaphors, and I turn it, it's making me brain dead. It is actually having a negative effect on my intelligence. I am getting dumber the more I watch this crap. It is dumb, it is gross, it is cringe. Every single one, every single one of these, they're all bad. They're not going to make any Star Trek that is satisfying to any Star Trek fan who grew up watching TOS, TNG, any of these. Because we have a standard that's up here and you're trying to give us the High Republic of Star Trek. You're trying to give us the lowest, worst, most ridiculous garbage. So no, we don't need more. We need less of this shit. After co-creating Star Trek Discovery four years ago, Alex Kurtzman was tasked by CBS, now Viacom, to oversee, rebuild. Why would you let him? Why would you let him? He's not even good enough to be J.J. Abrams, and J.J. Abrams sucks. Don't let these people do anything. This is where I start yelling. <laughs> yeah, just imagine Star Trek with jazz hands. I... <laughs> I can. I can. And now with my reaction to imagining Star Trek with jazz hands. I would say that in this particular moment in time where everyone is th rethinking a lot of the assumptions that they made about the world and the systems that are in place in the world, Star Trek speaks to those in a way that, you know, where the franchise does. Oh, you're not smart enough to get it, though. You had to go in and break their entire world that you hated so much to tell your stupid story about uh, Picard being a white oppressor against black women in trailers or some dumb shit. I don't even know what Picard was about. It was stupid and it was ridiculous. I'm truly sorry. Shut the fuck up. And a lot of Admiral Potty Mouth telling Picard to shut the F up or whatever else she was saying. <laughs> Trek gives you a roadmap to the possibility and the potential of human beings that we can accomplish if we stop thinking the way we've been thinking. Did you think that maybe you were the problem, Alex Kurtzman? People like you. People like you who aren't smart enough to understand, hey, here's a bunch of systems that are in place in Star Trek that fixed all the real world stuff, so let's break that and turn it into modern day fucking garbage crazy town. That's what they did. I mean, yes, I'm mad about it. I'm going to be mad about it. I think that's the beauty of Star Trek. It gives, us, gives you a pos positive for the future. Gives you a positive for the future. That you broke in order to tell your stupid story about these androids that were being used as slave labor and had an uprising where they wanted to wipe out all of humanity. You let every murderer go, every bad guy go, in Picard, in Discovery, 
You reward failure. You reward mutiny. You reward assault. You don't get it. You know, maybe you're not smart enough to understand it. Maybe you're part of the problem. Maybe you focusing so much on the stupid shit like the superficial, like the pronouns. You don't get that we're beyond this stuff in Star Trek, all right? While you people are out here taking all the race bait and getting mad and outraged over every little stupid thing out there under the sun, I'm laughing at you and worried about how... We're going to actually fix some of the real world stuff that you guys are out there breaking right now. So, you know what? Maybe don't come to me, Alex Kurtzman, or any of us who are actually Star Trek fans and have any sort of notion that you are going to be the one to fix anything. All you can do is break, destroy, topple over. All you can do is give us this fiery but mostly peaceful piece of shit that is more about shoot, shoot, bang, bang, re- Kibber! than anything I've ever seen. A variety box of Star Trek colors. So you're focusing on the superficial. You're focusing on why the shows aren't fit for network TV because they're garbage. Nobody would want them. They would be canceled after a minute because you wouldn't be able to hide your ratings. Now, would you? Of course, all new Star Trek series find their home in the U.S. on Paramount Plus Streaming. We now live in a streaming age, yada yada. So he's talking about why they're streaming. No, I can tell you this much. A lot of these networks did not want to take a chance on something that wasn't going to be a return of investment. All right. Netflix is sticking with a lot of these because they're already paid for now. So this is just a bunch of him double talking. He's such a dumb fuck too when he talks. Nothing would make me happier than making a musical Star Trek episode. Oh, Lord. Kurtzman points to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Star Trek isn't Buffy the fucking Vampire Slayer. You know what's closer? Xena. Go make Xena again. You made a fucking... Mu I bet his name's on the goddamn musical episode of Xena, too. And that was terrible. Oh, fuck off, Alex Kurtzman. I'm done with this article. I'm going back to my live chat. Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! I failed you all, and I am sorry. And I need you both to know. I'll carry it everywhere I go. This is the power of math, people! Whoa, I think I just figured something out, Beavis. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> yeah, me. Sheer fucking hubris. This sucks more than anything that has ever sucked before. The black shield is the black shield. It comes down and it goes up to the shield.